ஹாய் ஹலோ எவ்ரி மேன் வெல்கம் டு லர்னிங் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரோசஸ் காஸ்டிங் ஸோ திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் இஸ் ஆஸ்கட் ஃபார் பிகாம் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் ஃபைவ் மார்க்ஸ் so similar type of problems will be asked by various universities for bcom bbm BB, bba students also and also for professional courses like ca cma also so problem is like that so in manufacturing of a product 10000 kg of raw materials at rupees 8 per kg were introduced to a process other expenses on this process were labor cost rupees 20000 production expenses rupees 10000 normal loss estimated at 10% normal loss was sold at rupees 2 per kg the output in this process was 8800 kgs so in this problem we analyze once again after reading the problem so 10000 kg of raw material introduced to process at rupees 8 per kg then labor production overhead normal loss also estimated that is 10% is given this normal loss uh, scrap will be sold at rupees 2 per kg and then output of this process that is finished goods is also given so based on this information i have to calculate value of abnormal loss to calculate the value of abnormal loss first of all we have to prepare prepare the process account in a process account there is a three columns each side of debit as well as credit side <coughs> particulars units and rupees for debit side the same left side particulars units and rupees all credit side also in debit side two raw materials that is 1 10000 kg at the rate of rupees 8 so 10000 units in a units column and 10000 into 8 that is 80000 in a rupees column then to labor to production expenses labor is 20000 production ex- expenses is 10000 so debit side is over then we come to left side, credit side that is normal loss in problem itself is, is given 10000 into 10% that is 1000 units were normal loss so this loss will be sold at rupees 2000 At rupees 2 per kg, we will get rupees 2000. Then, problem is clearly given. The finished goods, that is 8800 units. So, output in the sense, finished goods. 8800 is also given. After uh, is putting this information, we have to calculate the both sides. Both sides of the goods. Uh, a co- process account so first of all we have to calculate the units so debit side 10000 credit side also we have to put 10000 units so based on this information normal loss is uh, 1000 units finished goods or output is 1000 8800 units so then we'll uh, make uh, calculate then we will find the difference is 200 units 200 units is a abnormal loss so then we will get abnormal loss to find out this abnormal loss we have to find out the value of abnormal loss so it will be calculated on the total cost minus value of normal loss divided by units introduced minus normal loss units into abnormal loss units using this value we using this formula we have to finding the value of abnormal loss so then uh, we'll substitute the values of uh, 
values in this formula so that is uh, total cost is uh, 1 lakh 10,000 value of abnormal loss is rupees 2,000 units introduced is uh, 10,000 minus normal loss in units is 1000 into abnormal loss units is 200 units so we subtract them then we'll get 1 lakh 8000 divided by 9000 into 200 then we'll get the value of abnormal loss is 2400 we have to putting here 2400 so then we'll uh, make total of credit side credit side so that is 80000 20000 30000 we'll get 1 lakh 10000 rupees column here also we put uh, 1 lakh 10000 so then we find out the difference in credit side there is a normal loss value is 2000 Abnormal loss value is also given 2000. We have to find calculated 2400. Then total column is 1,10,000. So the difference is 1,5600. That is a value of finished goods or output. <coughs> so this is the end of the process account. First of all, once again recap all this uh, uh, in a a snap so first of all we have to debit raw materials labor production expenses then we calculate the normal loss number of units into rate per unit that is the value then finding the value of uh, putting the value of finished goods goods in units then we finding the difference of uh, difference between the finished goods finished goods and value of normal loss so to total we will get the abnormal loss units then we finding the value of uh, abnormal loss units then we will finding the value of finished goods so this is a ending of process account thank you for watching thanks for if any doubts or clarification regarding concepts, topics or any problems, kindly let me inform in a comment section. Kindly subscribe, share and like the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.